Hi, this is uh, Choir with your Rowers channel. Um, I'm just going to be uh, talking about uh, different types of uh, viruses and uh, virus scares and that, uh, whatnot that usually take place. Um, rather uh, serious issue, but I mean, should be uh, should be looked into slightly more. I know there's a lot of other things that weigh out certain uh, levels of of the uh, standpoints involved within virus uh, spreads or whatnot itself. But anyway, uh, just to get to the points here, um, bioterror. What is it? What is bioterror? Just to start things off here. Well, let's just say a bioterrorism attack is the deliberate release of viruses, bacteria, or germs, agents, used to cause illnesses or death to people, animals, or plants. Uh, these agents are typically found in nature, but it is possible they could be changed to increase their ability to cause death, uh, you know, make them resistant to current medicines, or, you know, increase their ability to spread into the environment. You know, biological agents themselves can be spread through the air, like through water or food, which most of you know. Um, as everyone knows, terrorists can use them uh, because they can be extreme. Well, terrorists may use biological agents because they can be uh, extremely uh, difficult to detect and, you know, they don't cause uh, illness for several hours to several days, so it's undetectable. Some bioterrorism agents, like the smallpox virus, can uh, spread from person to person, and you know some like anthrax cannot. Okay, so what are the categories of bioterrorism um, within the agent itself? Well, bioterrorism agents can be separated basically into three categories depending on how easily they can be spread and the severity of the illness or death they cause. Category A agents are considered the highest, highest risk, and Category C uh, agents are those that are considered emerging threats for disease. We're just going to expand on Category A here. Um, the, the Category A uh, agents uh, or high priority agents include organisms or toxins that pose the highest risk to the public and national security. And the reason is because, you know, they can easily spread uh, or be transmitted from person to person, which you see, which you're, you know, you're aware of, you see in movies and whatnot, and you, you know, you, you get the basic idea there. Um, like you see it all the time. Uh, with any disease. Um, they can result in high death rates and have the potential for major uh, public health impact itself. You know, they might cause public panic and social disruption and they require special action for pub public health uh, preparation and whatnot. Now, anthrax, which is uh, uh, also the alternate name for it, which uh, Scientific term, which many uh, don't use, is the uh, Bacillus uh, anthracis. Um, there's also, um, what's the other ones here? Uh, botulism, bot, botulism, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Uh, close uh, street uh, DM uh, botulin, what's it called? Uh, got it written down here, it's hard to pronounce. Uh, oh yeah, the, uh, I think it's botulinum uh, toxin. Um, and then plague, uh, which you know, smallpox, uh, teller, uh, tellurimia, or shit, I terrible at pronouncing that. Uh, and you know, viral uh, hemor uh, hemorrhagic fevers themselves. God, why do they have to use big words? Um, but no, yeah, it's like within itself, these are 
the main uh, main mainstream broad span perspective uh, names that uh, that are basically in the category of the basics. Um, okay, but anyway, category B. These agents are the second highest priority because uh, they are they're moderate, moderately easier to spread. Um, they result in moderate illness rates and low death rates, uh, and they require specific enhancements of uh, CDC's uh, laboratory capacity and uh, enhanced disease monitoring. Um, you know, the uh, it has to do with food safety threats, uh, glanders, uh, maliodosis, uh, you know, Q fever. Uh, you know, other toxins, uh, typhus fever, viral, uh, uh, in what's it called, uh, ence encephalitis, uh, you know, and even water safety threats. There's quite a bit involved. Category C. Okay, so this is the third uh, h highest uh, priority agents uh, include, you know, emerging uh, pathogens that could be uh, engineered for mass spread in the future. Uh, this is so because they are easily uh, available, they're easily produced and easily spread, and they have the potential for uh, high uh, more <laughs> sorry more morbidity and morality uh, rates and uh, what else? Oh yeah, major uh, health impact in itself. Uh, emerging infectious uh, disease such as uh, the Napa virus and uh, the uh, hantavirus. Um, but the scientists themselves uh, are most concerned about smallpox and anthrax. Both are bacteria that can spread uh, through the air in powder and cause, you know, swift, uh, deadly diseases and whatnot. Uh, smallpox could uh, be even more lethal itself because it's easily spread from one person to another, uh, which most know. It's also worries, uh, worrisome because, like, uh, the uh, bubonic plague, uh, Feudalism and uh, tel uh, what's it called? Talarmia and uh, Ebola. Insane names, but yes, uh, also involved within it in itself. Uh, you know, but there there is no real pre preventative measures uh, other than stopping the initial introduction of the bio uh, terror substance itself. I mean. It would not be apparent that a biological agent has been dispersed until people begin falling ill like several days later or even weeks. For most biological agents, though, the initial symptom would resemble a you know, flu-like uh, experience in essence. Okay, anthrax. What is anthrax? Well, it's Basically, 